All right, let's pick it up here. Um, you just missed a very uneventful thing. That bug monster that you encountered earlier when you met Larva Butt, well, it came back and you had to smash it with uh, the that huge rock thing. So you saw me use the huge rock thing. Uh, you saw the bug thing when you met Larva Butt. And uh, beyond that, I'm, I'm really sorry for skipping that, but it's because I automatically set the recording system for a certain amount of time. And usually when the, that happens, I tend to be afraid of not pressing the record button again because I might get killed. Okay, so... Uh-oh! What's going on? Eh. Run away. What is that thing? Okay. Oh, crap! Uh, hi, ugly. Uh, I'm gonna... S Do I have to fight you? Uh, seems too soon. Okay, there's no going back. There's tumbling rocks that direction. And we got fisty cuffs here. Ow! He killed me. Okay, I think he got the best of me primarily because I didn't have enough uh, energy left in me to do another uh, roll out of the way. So. Alright, Fisticuffs, show yourself. And you showed yourself. Okay, good. Let's keep moving. Okay, okay, I get it. Alright. So this is going to be a challenge. I think uh, according to the game, uh, or the company Bitsmart, they said that this uh, enemy is called a Furbog, which is a ancient race of giants in Celtic myth, or one the race of uh, beings that encountered Ireland. There are quite a few, including uh, the the ones that I think many people would be familiar with are the Danan. I think that's how they're pronounced, which are mostly the conventional gods that people think of in Irish myth mythology, like Lu, Nwada, etc. And the Fomor, or the Fomorians, which were another race of giants, and that includes uh, the infamous Balor, the, the evil one-eyed god of the underworld. I don't know if I mentioned this, but when I actually looked at uh, Bitsmart's site, I discovered that it is, in fact, uh, an Irish, an Irish game developer. Which is a little surprising since many uh, games that people usually, when they think of video games, mostly they think of, I think like Japan or uh, America somewhere along that line, probably Europe if you count Little Big Planet. Okay. Stay away. Stay away. Ow! He hit me. But uh, thanks to Steam and the rise of indie gaming, a lot more countries have developed their own games. For instance, uh, Steam also pr uh, distributes the a couple of Chinese games, Kung Fu Strike, The Warriors Rise, and uh, what the hell's going on here? Did I lose it? is going on here? I can't cross that thing? Where, where am I supposed to go? Okay. The rocks are gone, which means I'm... I should be out of the woods. Um, hmm. Anyways, there are 
For instance, you got in China, Kung Fu Strike, and also uh, Rain Blood Mirage. Oh, no, no, I don't want to fight you, I don't want to fight you, I don't want to fight you. Go away. I won. Oh dear god, I fell. Okay. Another good example of the uh, indie games from other countries would be Dread Zone. Or, no, wait, it's Dread Out. Which is an indie horror game for uh, uh, from Indonesia. Okay, let's see what we got here. Puzzle time. There is an achievement... Uh, is he dead? It's probably like a piece of his shoulder, but there is an achievement in this called uh, Jack Be Quick, and that involves uh, getting past the fur bog without uh, taking any damage, which is easier said than done. Okay. No, no, don't kill me, don't kill me. I have barely enough health as it is. I have no clue what these are doing because the lasers aren't killing me. Okay. I should be able to get through this door. Okay. That works. Let's go. Who the hell are you? Yeah, he is called the Furbog. Um, okay. So why are you helping me? I later learned those guys are actually out for blood. But for some reason that guy gave me advice. I don't understand why. Okay, what do we got here? Oh dear god! What is that? What is that? Of course, you're not mechanical. Alright, I think they call this thing a troll. I guess I could call it a spriggan or maybe a creeper. Whatever the case. Uh, I think I'm supposed to roll out of the way instead of just bashing it.